over. Last mission, last mission. The final boss mode. Boss mode. <laughs> it is what it is. Y'all, y'all see the society right now. We, we can only take our little, you know, pleasures and and little little bullshit like versus battles. Yeah, right. Yeah, the damn versus battles, man. Oh yeah, the the last two, man. Like uh, obviously the one this past weekend with Bounty Killer and Beanie Man. That shit, that shit took me back, man. That shit was dope. Oh yeah. Like I mean, because it was the best battle, bro. Because like for, yeah, number one, the best one. one. Easy, both of them were actually on camera, like near each other and shit like that. And this shit, this shit was like a regular concert. But the and thing is, they really, they really played their music too. They weren't trying to play some odd ass, obscure. Oh yeah, so the nigga I smoked with in the cipher two weeks ago, like this one. So let me, uh, <laughs> let me add this to the playlist type of shit. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean. I mean, obviously it wasn't like a clash, like how they usually do a clash, how they usually do a clash, but that shit was very, you know, the shit was very passable. Oh, you mean them sting clashes? Them sting yeah, clashes yeah. be lit as fuck. Yeah, and then also too, it also gave me, it gave me another, it gave me a renewed appreciation for Bounty Kill because Bounty Kill was one of the, like, he really did a lot of collab with niggas too in his, in his, in his prime. Yeah. He did a lot of collabs. I was telling, I was telling, I uh, like, my girl, I was telling her, I feel like these two, like, Bounty Killer would be, like, a better actual rapper. Like, he'd be a dope rapper if he actually, like, fucking rapped. Right. And his yeah, voice. But, yeah, man, I mean, he did his thing. Like, I mean, the shit, I mean, they did fucking from the Mob Deep collab to, I think, Special Ed, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, damn, like, Special Ed is, up, uh, he, he, he played a Special Ed. I mean, I haven't heard that song in years. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know? They played all the the classics, just the, the energy, like Babylon tried to to, to shut it down and it and it not happened. Yeah. The I spirits mean, wouldn't let it happen. Yeah. I mean, oh. I mean they, they, I mean they have fucking Gorilla Black up in there with Beanie Man and. and no, oh, well, I, I gotta that the comments and shit have me like. First off, you know my goat. Like, what is wrong? With, you gotta get the donkey of the day for that one, Nas saying rest in peace Biggie during that song. I'm like, bro, did you really think that was Biggie? Like, he really thought that was Biggie. Like, what is wrong with you, Nas? I mean, I mean, he might have been high as fuck. I mean, you can I mean, get that. Nas do be burning. Yeah, no, he, he, yeah, he, uh, that's the only excuse I can think of that he was hot. Cause I'm like, bro, did he really just say rest in peace, Biggie? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's how, that, that just shows how much Gorilla Black sound like, dude. It took, it took him so back. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. and then, like, right afterwards, he's like, oh, nah, this ain't big. I'm like, the fact that you had to actually say, nah, this ain't big, that means you thought it was big. Like, that's shit. That's even, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that dude, I mean, he, he sounds like big, and then he played big in two movies, bro. Like, I mean, he, no, he, he broke didn't. Big. No, he didn't. Huh? He didn't play big in two movies. Wait a minute, two, Gorilla Black? No, that was a Gorilla Black. Oh, that was, that was gravy. My bad. Yeah, that was gravy. I'm like, was, yeah. Yeah, and they both got the... the same letters start their rap name like Gorilla Black Gravy like <laughs> oh man but no that, that shit that shit had me that shit had a real vibe like I'm over here just vibing I was like damn I wish wish my lady was here you know I'd be you know we'd be vibing right now we were like shit, and, my and, girl, and, nah my, my girl fell asleep halfway through I'm like what is wrong with you wake up but she was so tired I'm like I blasted the music up and uh, she was knocked. I'm like, damn. So now I just gotta be, I gotta be dancing myself. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> being like a damn fool. Yeah, and the wild thing is too is like that shit. That audio was so clear too. It was clearer than most of the damn battles that happened. Yeah, no, no struggle audio. Like you felt uh, like cool, cool. See, when you yeah, got like yeah. real DJs and shit. Was that? I'm saying when you got real DJs, it'd be like no problem. Yeah, yeah exactly. I said you know, uh, jagged edge. Yeah, I mean, even with the police, I mean, the police almost shut that shit down, but it was just like, you know, it was too hot and you had to let, the, you had to let that shit continue, man. That shit, that shit was great, man. Are you going to be that guy? Yeah, are you going to be that guy? Like the whole <laughs> world is watching this. <laughs> are you going to be that guy? <laughs> 
That's oh, cool. man, he'll be like that one soccer player that that kicked the ball in the wrong goal, like. <laughs> like you, you like come on, it's like we, it's like yo, ladies and gentlemen. When someone gives you an out, when someone gives you an exit, take it. Fast. Nothing good ever comes out of continuing something where, where no one, no one's an obvious exit. When there's something bigger than you going on, like can't stress <laughs> out enough. Word. Yeah. Oh, when someone says agree to disagree, <laughs> leave it. <laughs> Leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but you know, I mean, and, and, and just by just like checking their reaction, like on my Facebook, like people were loving that shit. Like you know, on um, Twitter, everyone. I mean, that shit, that, that shit got all types of rave reviews, man. I was, it was like, all about positive, bro. The positivity, like yeah. honestly, it, it served a good example of what these rap battles need to be. Match up two good people. With similar type of style music, the following, all of that, and they yeah. put them in a location and let them ra- jam out. Yeah, exactly. Now, is, um, Bounty's co- co- his his comments throughout the whole fucking night were hilarious. He just his off slide comments to Beanie because <laughs> they used to have beef. So I'm like wondering, I'm like, okay, is Bounty gonna say? Because Bou- Bounty be slick with the mouth sometimes. <laughs> I'm like, he gonna say something slick and reignite shit again. <laughs> Yeah, the one thing that I mean, in terms of like hits, competition. Well, I mean, in terms of hits, Beanie Man, the only thing he didn't do, he didn't play "Who Am I." I was just like, damn. Like, yeah, I was, I was so tight. I was so tight. Yeah, I was. Oh, I, man, I, man, one of his biggest hits on the table. Yeah, and, and I don't think he played the Janet Jackson joint either. I think that was probably his other biggest hit. Did he? Play? No, no, I don't think he. I don't remember if he played that. Yeah, I know. I would have remembered too. I was, I, mean, I, was happy, I was just happy he played Slam. So if he didn't play yeah. that, there would have been a riot. I, I would have been so mad. <laughs> yeah, no, but yeah, but you know, yeah, but they did play some. They they played some dope joints though from their catalog though. So you know, in the end, in the end, we all won for this. We're actually listening to that shit. You know. Um, oh, yeah, bit major respect to Beanie Mine and all. Enough respect. Big up, big up, warlord in the building. <laughs> <laughs> me just got to dump you with me now. Although, although there were some hating ass niggas in the fucking comments, I'm looking at you, Tony Mataran. Hating ass. Was it Swiss? Oh, the one hit wonder guy? Yeah, he was, he, Mr. Dutty Wine, was hated. <laughs> I mean, let him battle another one hit wonder and get it out of his system. <laughs> So was my guy, um, Major Hype. He was kind of low key hating because he was mad because because he been trying to do that on his thing because he be playing stuff like that on his Instagram live. He be, he been trying to set up some shit like that and like he won't get a response. But these motherfuckers want to go to to verses. But I'm like, bro, verses is a bigger platform. He just feels like, oh, like. I do. I would do a better job representing for Caribbean culture than Versus would. It's like, bro, it don't matter. Versus is the biggest is the biggest uh, platform out there. So they're all gonna come. If, 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 if that's a point, if, that, if that's his point, then why doesn't he just prove it? Why don't he get somebody that he could make a battle with, or, or or some even if it's not as big as Bounty Killer and Benny Man? Because I mean, you're talking about that's A level, you know. Yeah. So even if you can't get a I mean, he's been bro. doing stuff. He's been doing stuff like that, but just hasn't gotten any artists like actually there. But he's been like doing. Some oh, stuff then, he, then he still got. Then he still got shit to work on. Like if he hasn't gotten any artists, then he hasn't been doing what this whole first of shit is. Then, yeah. because basically he's doing the same thing that what I was saying DJ Paul does with the the Mafia Radio. Because yeah. after the, during the Beanie Man shit, like. Once it was slowing down, I was like, fuck it, DJ Paul, the live. I was like, man, that nigga be playing all the, like, all the hits and everything. And that should be lit. The sound be good. So I was like, fuck this. So, you know what I'm saying? And, and if your shit is on point, I think he be having, like, maybe a thousand people watching his. Like, it, who knows? It just, I feel like since they ain't had a bone thug battle, he hasn't got that surge again. 
Right. Yeah, they, they kind of held, they, they held up. I don't even know if we're going to get that because they, they got that, they were supposed to do that and then they got canceled because Versus wanted to do something with that. But we haven't heard anything from that. So I'm like kind of, I'm, I'm tight because that's actually something I was That was really like one of the, be- see, that was one of the, the better matched up battles. Like that was really like the Beanie Man bounty killer, like where it's like you got two legendary influential groups type shit that, that actually had beef. So you had a history, so it's like okay, like, yeah, yeah. No, but the thing is, uh, with all that man is, uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's just momentum, man. Like you, you got strike when it's hot, and it didn't happen. So I mean, what the fuck are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, I mean, but so some people have platform. Some people platforms are bigger than others, so they could get their little momentum anytime they want. So it's like you got to do what you got to do. Don't don't hate on something bigger. Just do what you do. And keep grinding. I mean, that's what we do in shit with Ring Gang. Like, right. I, I can't. I can't agree with anybody hating on this shit like that. Like, right. but, make I mean, no difference. Yeah, no. I mean, at least the one thing with all this is it raised the bar. So, which takes yeah. us to you know, Jagged Edge and One Twelve. Like, I mean, they were the unfortunate ones that had to follow after that shit. So, I mean, I watched some of it on and off. I mean. It, it wasn't really that impressive to me, and mostly because I think the sound for Jagged Edge was all fucked up. Yeah, they sounded like they they sounded like they was playing the, their their from their iPhones under a cup, like like Jesus said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. Bro. I was like, I mean, dog. Like, I mean, you know, you're doing this shit. You have all the time in the world to get your system right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it makes me wonder. Like, are these guys really, like really rich? Like. I couldn't imagine making the type of money these dudes have, and then you know when I want to play some music, my shit all fucked up. Like, I mean, yeah, they're, 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 they're these these musicians shows. too. Like, I mean, these niggas do music for a living. I would imagine that every you know rapper or singer worth their salt has a little system in their in their in their home or something like that. You know, what dude, I'm every stereo in your house on, on that level should be elite, be on point, like. Where you shouldn't have to be fucking well, damn. What I'm gonna do? Let me yeah. plug this no, cable I, to I, this. I, like, and it ain't fucking um. What what's that damn um movie where uh they getting the bombs and shit? Um, where they where they defusing the bombs? Like niggas is making it seem like it's on some shit like that. <laughs> the thing is that like from what I've heard, versus like the people that set this up, like gave these artists like an, a manual of instructions on how to set everything up. Because they said, because I remember they said Ludacris was like always calling, like just always hitting them up, just to like make sure like how it works and asking for help to set it up. And his came out very well. Meanwhile, Nelly just looked like he didn't care. Right. Some of these guys like me, there's no excuse when you have when you have the platform giving you instructions telling you how to set everything up. So if you can't get it right, that's on you. Made me think that a lot of these dudes, they like so far so far removed from their own music. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Like, they didn't look like they were too into it. I, th- I think, like, when well, for Jackets, I think there's only like a couple of them. Like, they looked like they were just going through the motions. They didn't have a lot of energy with what they were doing. Um, Jagged Edge was kind of like listless, and One Twelve just sounded like they were just, you know, well, they were didn't just... even have all the One Twelve doesn't even have their all, all their members together anymore. Like, right? so yeah. there was, a, there was, a, yeah, so this manufactured ass. Ooh, 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 pick me, pick me next ass battle. Like, nah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, they did play some of their hits, though. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, honestly, I don't, I mean, I didn't think Jagged Edge even had that many big hits like that. I no, mean, they had. Jagged, Jagged Edge had some hits, but I felt like Jagged Edge played their hits too early. Like, like they shouldn't they i don't know i i i don't agree with emptying the clip so early like play your best shit for like the middle like no i mean you could start off with one one song one one classic yeah. early no yeah, but, they, I mean, they, but yeah no you could start but you can early. you can't follow up like like repeatedly afterward you got to one early yeah. set the bar set every set the energy out and then no, kind of gradually edge. increase it in the middle type shit yeah no, you know jagged edge kind of emptied their clip early yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, really, though, 112 did too, but 112 actually, I mean, they were actually able to keep that shit going. Like, 112 actually really had some legit hits. Yeah. Now, the beginning of the end for Jagged Edge for me was once they played this, I'm like, are you serious? Once they played Nasty Girl, that manufactured. Same yeah, thing I don't really did. Why? Like, <laughs> why, are you, why are you playing this? Like, especially against 112, because as Jadakiss said, I did real songs with Big, no made up shit. Like, yeah. Like, exactly. <laughs> Like you just you play a manufactured Biggie song just opens just opens the gate for for one twelve to give you like real songs that they did with Biggie and I thought yeah, they were gonna I thought they were gonna play only you. Song, the song has to be classic or known for like your input like it can't be on some like well it's Biggie featuring such and such type shit like. Yo, yeah, it's Big Peter and Jagged Edge. <laughs> that was bad. yeah. You you gotta be the star like type of person. And then it's like, oh yeah, you know, Biggie, yo, he had Biggie on there, like, word, word. Not no, oh yeah, yeah, Biggie had him on there, like, come on. Or Especially like, when no. it's some afterlife type of remix type shit. Come yeah, on. I think like, like, like for example, I, I, only a couple of those would, would make sense. Like, for example, if, if, like, if, for example, hypothetically speaking, if Eminem were to get on Versus and oh, he had the play, damn wrong. Yes, I would be. I, I, I could, I could accept that. I could okay, respect I, it. Yeah, you right. Because his I, verse, I, I, I always talk with his verse, and I forget that that was a old, that was a song after Big Die, but he, you know, his, he had one of my favorite verses. Of, of his on that song, so I'd accept it. But Nasty Girl, I would not accept. And, and at least with with um, Dead Raw, I don't think they released Biggie's verses. Like I don't, I don't even acknowledge that whole Biggie duet album because it's basically all verses that they just took from his his album. Although but, there's actually a few a few bangers on that album, but I feel the same way. Like I just go to like the one or two songs where it kind of came out good and just. Scrap it's, a money grab. It's, a, it's a money grab to me. Yeah. yeah no, but I, even I, then, Dead Wrong is still one of those those songs where, like, you could kind of accept it. Just like how they had, like, a few Tupac songs where you're like, ah, but, you know, before they started just remixing fucking everything yeah. this nigga did. Like, like, like Thug's Mansion. Thug Mansion is acceptable. If you play Thug Mansion, that's, that's perfectly acceptable for me. But some of that, yeah. like, but, like, I mean, like, no, I man. mean, the thing with the Tupac songs, though, is if you ever heard of the original, like, Tupac has a lot of unreleased shit, and if you hear the originals, they're superior to all the remakes. That's the yeah, problem. See, that, that's what kills it to me. If you heard the, the Machiavelli's when they were really dropping, like, back after his death or even a little bit before, like, if you was yeah. up on that shit, you didn't really like a lot of the new shit that came out when they remixed it. Like, the, the the remixing success rate was like at twenty percent. No, after no anything, I, I I it was fine for me up until um the the, the album the uh, better days after better days every uh, every posthumous album that, that they dropped for Pac after better days was terrible. That they, they should they should have stopped at better days and too like loyal to the game was terrible. Yeah, loyal to the game. Better, better days. That, that was a double disc, right? Yes. Well, because well, there was until the end of time, which was a double disc as well, and then better days. Yeah. yeah all the remixes, yeah, all that shit, man. Just better, better, yeah. even better days was hit or miss to me. Like I, I hate like when they when they do shit like that. Like yeah, and that's I promise it. Well, I die. Yeah, yeah, nah, niggas don't remix my shit. <laughs> one of these damn laffy taffy goofy tune ass niggas on us on a clan on he beat and be like, well, you, you know, Shutter would have wanted it that way. Yeah, and, that, and that's why I like to say, you know, hopefully these these verses battle they don't put any of this shit in there unless the song was actually completed with said rapper in the studio at least, you know, or you that, know, that, that's what they're gonna have to do, man. Set this shit up better, man. Beanie Man, Bounty Killer, they fucking did it, and and hip hop, we don't have a battle to say like we like they have a battle now. You feel me? Yeah, but uh, I would say about 112 though. 112 though easily won this shit uh, because I mean they started out. With, um, it's over now, and they were consistent. I, I think the only time they slipped up is when they play that stupid solo joint from Slim, uh, So Fly. You know, I was just like, I didn't want to hear that shit. You know, but yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, they played. They thought he tried to be slick. It was a, it was a one twelve battle, not go solo battle. Yeah, yeah. No, some of some of those hits I, I definitely forgot about. Like I forgot about the the one twelve prodigy song. Like oh shit, I forgot about this. Song. I don't know why I always hey, forget. Hey, about. Love. 
I, I, I'm probably one of the people that actually liked that damn song. You know that. <laughs> Like I thought, I thought that shit was straight. Like I mean, that shit didn't. I mean, I, I didn't think there was anything wrong with that song. I mean, my beat once well, and the shit worked. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, shit worked better than most of their crossover joints. So I was just like, fuck it, you know. And I mean, they played the one twelve Mace joint, uh, Beanie Siegel joint, Dance with Me remix. Yeah. Um, they, of course, they played Peaches and Cream. Like you know, my ignorant ass. I used to fucking crip walk to fucking Peaches and Cream <laughs> when oh, I heard it. Oh my god, like. <laughs> That's a you song. Walking, you, you crip walking just ah, oh, I gotta get that out of my head. Yeah, yeah. Like, Into that what, song. Like niggas were crip walking, like once I was crip walking in that damn video for that shit. <laughs> yeah. you know, it was corny then too. Yes, that was stupid then. Yeah, but R&B niggas, song, niggas like, doing it. Like yeah. I mean, niggas were, so everyone would start fucking crip walking. <laughs> for dudes that aren't crips, crip walk is so oh, it's so cringeworthy. Shit, even when Crips Crip walk, but at least they made that. Like, if you're not a Crip and you Crip walking, you look stupid to me. Hey, 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 fuck all that. So, so, sometimes niggas just be having fun, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, nigga, you Crip walk too, nigga. What the fuck is you What the fuck is going on? Yeah, but like, to actual like Crip music, nigga, and, like, <laughs> music, nigga. Like, I ain't gonna damn put up a damn. You ain't gonna see no IG story where I'm Crip walking to fucking Whitney Houston. <laughs> Damn. You'll see that at least there'll be some dub C some some the song, you know what I mean? Some 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 dog pound something nigga like Well nigga it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't me like dude, you know I remember there be mad videos of people quit walking to that damn song. I used to see that you that you like six four doing that shit. Get the fuck out of here. That that's like I could imagine going to the club and this big ass nigga start crip walking the peaches and cream. Like, <laughs> nigga, it was 2001. I wasn't in the club. I was, well, it was college parties then. You know, it was college. close enough, man. Like, 2001, like, uh, it was in high school. Yeah, I was, shit, I, I, was, I was a senior. I was only 11 <laughs> in 2001. Niggas were still getting their walk on shit. <laughs> oh, okay, Mr. X to the Z. <laughs> <laughs> No, but but yeah, you know, they they but yeah, one twelve they killed their shit, man. Like the Biggie songs were on there. Every one of the Biggie collabs were on there. Uh, Little Zay anywhere. Well, that shit was yeah. Crazy. Well, all the Biggie collabs were a damn cheat code. Like yeah. <laughs> hey, like they played they yeah. played Sky's the Limit, which is a damn cheap code. Like I'd be forgetting one twelve is on that song. Like that's a Biggie song to me. With like one twelve. <laughs> yeah, but. It, they did help that song get, you know, like it, I, I could fucks with that beat on there. I ain't gonna, you know. No, but like when I think of that song, I think of Biggie and then just, I forget that it's 112. It could just be insert random vocals by singers here. Like, yeah, no, no, I, I, I agree with you on that. But, you know, I guess for the sake of, I mean, if you're in 112 shoes, you're gonna be like, fuck it. I got a song with one of the greats. Damn yeah. right, like, especially, you, especially when you got have an open invitation because Jagged Edge played that damn B duet song. So I mean, yeah, then yeah, they like, okay, let me I was really done. Yeah, I mean, like you I mean, said, no, no made up shits. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, you know, I didn't just open up a imaginary like, hmm, Biggie. <laughs> like, okay, here, 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 here. I mean, at least I mean, at least they played the shit with Nelly. Where the party at? You know, they, at least they got they, they got that other. Just I think that's I think that was their last song. Yeah, the, wow, that was a late ass hell. <laughs> last song. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, that, that should have been like number ten or something. No, uh, well, no, they, they, the so called Death Remix was like number ten. The oh. Promise so so Death Remix. You know, <laughs> uh, I'll say this, man. As far as the battles, um, I was talking to my uh, homeboy, and um, we was we suggest we came up with a battle we feel like would be dope like, with a female rapper. We were saying Eve versus the Brat. I can see that. I can do that. I can yeah, see that. I mean, I mean, it's different. I mean, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure the um, Brat can still spit, you know. But Eve, kind of, I'm, I'm kind of soured on Eve because. Eve went so left, I can't really take her seriously as a rapper anymore. No, 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 no. I can't. But that's the thing, she put in a lot of work with them, you know, with her first albums and shit. Like, I, yeah, and, I can and never so did the brand 99 Eve. Like, 99, 2000 Eve, yeah, I can't sour on that. 
I mean, the real battle is Lil Kim versus Foxy Brown. That's the shit that. Yeah, yeah. that would, ne- but that would never happen. So you know, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about something like real. Like I yeah, think, yeah. You know, that's, that's that's there. That's up there with Fifty Cent and Ja Rule as just unrealistic battles that will never happen, but make too much I mean, sense. I mean, this this should get Queen Latifah and MC Light then. I mean. Nah, that's not gonna happen. And I don't think we have enough hits they do, like this for like this they should, generation. They should do Missy Elliott versus Nicki Minaj. No, no, no. Oh, that's no. a ass battle. No, so, I mean, no. it's doable, I get. I mean, I don't know. I can't uh, do it. Uh, or, Nigga, I'll or, take my E versus the Brat battle. Fuck yeah, all that. Or Missy Elliott versus, versus Lil' Kip. That's better, I guess. I forget y'all don't you know. Like what? I feel like Little Kim needs to I go forget, up. I forget you like, Yeah, I forget that you y'all niggas don't like Missy Elliott. No, no, no. I, I fucks with Missy. I fucks with Missy. That's I fucks with Missy. Not ass. Ass. Nah, nah. Missy needs to be like true. Truthfully, Missy gotta be up against like a R and B singer, someone who's big like. Like Missy and Beyonce would be a better battle than Missy and Lil Kim. Like Lil Kim need to go against another female rapper type shit. Mm-hmm. Lil Lil Kim versus Foxy Brown shit. Lil Kim, Nicki Minaj. I know that's not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I don't want to start, you know, doing these whack ass, you know, battles. I don't want to Scott Storch, uh, uh, Manny Fresh ass battle. Yeah. <laughs> you just say, you know what? Uh, that guy, he goes to the store. That person goes to the store. Yeah, they should be friends type shit. Like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, no, but no, Eve just, uh, I, I just can't find, uh, Eve is just like, I mean, yeah, she had hints, but I just can't take her seriously no more. She just kind of, uh, like, she, she's too far removed from the culture where the brat still on radio stations, still doing shit. Like, so I, I feel you on that, but if, but I feel like the brat and the Eve do match up. I think that'd be a great battle for female rappers. Like, I think it's the most doable one. It just I know Eve is kind of removed from the culture like that. But yeah. I mean, either yeah. or, they, 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 they can always try to do Brandy and Monica and see if they can try to get that shit. I mean, niggas, they're not doing nothing. Yeah, well, Monica has kind of said she don't really want to do that. Of course she yeah. Yeah, of course. I, mean, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. She's been pitted against. She get. She getting tired of getting pitted against Brandy. They've been pitted against. They've been pitting them bitches against each other for like twenty years. So, so like, but they actually <laughs> had real like like didn't Monica swung on her? Yeah, they have a swung on her. They're not trying to do this. So it's like you got too many niggas in their feelings for you to do the proper battles. That's what it come down to. But but yeah, Biggie nah, Man and yeah. Bonnie Killer could squash shit and make a, a epic classic battle. So no, I mean, Monica said she she would do it if it was like it felt like more of like an appreciation, a celebration for both artists instead of just them just pitting the two against each other. I don't give a shit either way. I'm just saying that's I get it, but they should just do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it depends on the energy you bring. Like, she has, she could say whether it's going to be on some, you know, a celebration of music. I mean, look at Jill Scott and Erica Badu. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the, the women love that shit. Yeah. And but, I didn't hear nothing bad about but, that. Bad. But there was no real static, uh, you know, with those two like there were with Brandy and Monica. So I can see yeah, them just not yeah, I mean, I feel you, but- that's that's my whole point of saying that Monica could change that. She don't have to bring it on that rah rah. She don't have to fight the rematch and start at twelve. I start at the round thirteen. She could start at round one. <laughs> Shit, she would be starting at round two. She knocked that bitch out. <laughs> Facts. You know, yeah. So I mean, I guess we. I guess we'll just have to wait to see what's the next battle after. Or that's do like, like, or do something like I don't know, like a. I would say like a a Rih- who would Rih- who would match who would Rihanna match up against? Hmm. When you get to that stratosphere, it's like it's all the pop acts. Like yeah. Rihanna got to go against like Beyonce, Lady yeah. Gaga type people and shit. Like oh, yeah, yeah. I, I also, I also don't, I don't also don't want to see Rihanna in a versus battle just yet. Yeah, some of these. I mean, some of these people I don't want to see in a battle. Like yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I want to see some plastic hit makers. I mean, if you, I mean, put like fucking um, Josie versus Drew Hill or some shit like that. You know, the problem. Yeah. The problem is like then it's like like imagine if we would have gotten like the, that that if that shit was true with DMX versus Eminem, like. <laughs> but it's oh, like, so that was a hoax. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Twiz even said he never said anything about it. So that was that was not true at all. And I knew it wasn't true. DMX, yeah, like, like, that's, DMX, that's DMX, wants, DMX wants Jay Z. That's the guy he wants. He's been saying, "I want Jay Z in verses on on Instagram." But, but Jay's but not Jay-Z, gonna do like that. he like that nigga. He uh, removed from the culture. Nah, nah. He's not removed from the culture. Not, 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 like not removed. It's a waste of time for him. It makes no sense for him. It only makes sense. For, it only don't make sense for you if you're not really fucking with the culture. Yeah, why, I mean, why wouldn't that be dope for Jay Z to battle DMX when they've been on tour each other? Because, because Jay Z, Jay Z's a businessman, and that doesn't make any business sense to him. So he's far, he's too just like Evening. She's they too f- removed from the culture. If you say in that, I yeah, mean, I, 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 the only reason why I can't speak, I can't say that he's too far removed from the culture is because he's still in the culture with his artists, and he's still no, because. He got to drop a collab album so his artists will finally drop an album. <laughs> the business culture, like, like I said, that nigga too removed from the culture if if, if that's how you feel. Like, who, who the fuck is Jay-Z to feel like he above a DMX battle? I, I don't think he's above the DMX. I think he's just above... I mean, but you just said it, though. Like, not you, above DMX. Not, but not specifically DMX. I just don't think... I don't see him doing it, Period. Of course this nigga ain't gonna do it because he, he ain't in the culture like that. Now, it would be cool to see, like, like so, uh, he Honestly, it would have made him look worse if, if Eminem did it before Jay-Z did it. That would yeah. make Jay-Z yeah. look bad. I, I, don't, I don't want Eminem to do it because it's gonna bring all of the people, like, the one thing that I love... Corporate sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> no, the one thing I love about the verses is that it's been, like, all the people that, are, that have been there, the, all the fans have been people of the cultures. I don't want to say black people, but if people of the culture that are in, I don't want Eminem to bring his obsessed weirdo fans that were, oh, I don't like rap, but I like Eminem. No, no. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. nah, we, I, mean, we, I, I, we I feel like, you, I'm just, I'm just saying, it would still be a, a bad look on if, if Eminem did it before yeah. one of these, before Jay-Z did that shit. Yeah. Nah, it's just sad. It's just sad. It's it's kind of sad to see DMX just like he's he's like at this point he's like obsessed with with Jay Z. Like bro, like dude is like low key obsessed. Like he talks about and and like kind of is always like kind of challenging him every chance he gets. I feel like he feels that he should be where Jay Z is at right now, and it's eating him that he's not. Well, there's a reason why he's not. And, and I know, know, but like, I don't know. It's just weird because at one point he was bigger than Jay Z. So it's like, I'm sure it might, and they came up together. So I'm sure it eats his soul. I always kind of felt there was like neck and neck at one point. I never felt like, yeah, like, really X was bigger than him. Like, no, no, no. I, I feel like X was bigger than Jay in the late 90s until, until probably until the early 2000s is when Jay kind of just creeped past him. By 03, he definitely never looked, but he was definitely- I mean, I guess it's different because you're in New York and this is like New York rap matter, politics shit. Nah, nah, because because X was big everywhere. Like- Because it's not like X was, X always had the streets and he was buzzing. So it almost felt like his presence never left where Jay-Z kind of, he'll have songs that resonate with that part of the culture. Then he'll do his pop yeah. shit yeah, now, and it's like yeah. back and forth. Yeah, Where no, somebody somebody threw this out, I would go. I, I, no, I think LL himself threw this out. He'd be down to he'd be down to do LL versus Nas, which would be pretty dope, actually. LL versus Nas. Yeah, I mean, LL has three decades worth of hits. That's you both know, of them you know. have like three. De- both of them have three decades of music, so it could work. Even though I, and, and they were. It, it could. I, I guess since I'm not an LL fan like that, I'm listen, just listen. Listen, I'm I'm not an LL fan that? like that. I'm, nah. I'm not an LL fan like that either. But he is a legend, and he has a lot of good news, a lot of classic music. I always yeah, well, I feel like he's more of a, a battle for like an Ice Cube or Snoop Dogg. Exactly. Well, Ice yeah, LL versus Ice Cube. I, I know no, Ice Cube. No, that would be dope, actually. Yeah. LL versus Nas is kind of like if you were to have Rock him versus Nas type of shit like the, 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 like yeah, well, Rock, yeah well Rock him pretty much yeah because I mean his I mean he, although he did have some hits when he came back though but he, you know it's 
Nah, we need if, if Rock Kim's gonna go on on Instagram and do that, like anything, he need we need to get Rock Kim versus Big Daddy Kane. I don't care. Like yeah, yeah. we've been held off, we've been held off on that for thirty years. The motherfuckers just need to get it over with in battle. I don't know where Kane is these days, but bring his ass out. Oh, Kane, Kane, Kane is still on his ground. He be doing the, I mean, he be doing those like those shows, like, like he be doing, he be doing like the small shows and shit like that. He's he's still on his grind. Yeah, I have no idea what Rakim is doing. <laughs> yeah, Rakim just dropped a book. He was he was promoting. He just dropped back. I remember like, a couple of months ago with that because of that shit with MC Search that somebody asked him that stupid ass question about MC Search writing for Rakim, like. <laughs> No. Yeah, no. Who, 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 where did that question originate from? Nah, because that was like a rumor. No, because basically what happened was um, back then, I forgot what's his name, one of the executives tried to get um, Rock, get um, MC Search and them to, to write like a song and then have Rakim on it, like basically write for Rakim, but Rakim didn't know. It was Eric B that turned it down. It was it, it, it like that kind of shit has happened before. That happened before with Joe Budden and and um and Method Man, where I forgot who's I, for, I always forget the names of these damn businessmen, these white suit guys. Somebody tried to get like a Method Man song, but with Joe Budden writing for Method Man, and Method Man just like, are, are you fucking serious? Like, yeah, this is what happens when white suits invade hip hop. <sighs> <laughs> damn, what kind of. PBC fucked up mix, matchmaking the hip hop shit is this like <laughs> this is what happens when corporations what? this is what happens when corporations take over hip hop I know what we could do let's get Joe Buttons to write for Juvenile <laughs> <laughs> like, what and, and, and I got another one like go go shoot shoot Project Pat Right for Nas, like oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh man, that's gonna do it. Like, yes, I like, I like where you're going. I like where you're going. Like, like niggas, stop. Like, yeah, 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 there's yeah. no more ideas. Like we, we gotta stop the hip hop talk. Yeah, I mean, so, so, so dude in a white suit is like, hmm. Well, I mean, that's and, that, and that's that's where the pyramid of the versus battles came from. Because I'm saying it's it's not tainted by anything corporate. So they think that's you know. So and, and that's and that's why people are, are, are responding to it because people want to hear real shit. People want you know people just want people want to be entertained by some real shit. So and that's why these versus battles are working for the most part. Somewhat. Somewhat, yeah. I mean they're hit. I mean and like I said. I mean honestly, even after this shit is lifted, I mean those shits can still continue if they do it right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but the niggas gonna be starting one bags and and uh, different shit. So. You, you know, you know, shit change when there's no longer a necessity. Yeah. And it's like, well, you know, everybody's out living their life. I mean, I feel we like we need to be entertaining you guys at home now, do we? Yeah. No, honestly, I feel like this versus shit is, is the best when it's producers. We need more producers to go at each other. But it's yeah. like, but people want it to be about the artists, and that can kind of. Be good the artists ain't been fucking representing though, man. The artists been having like the worst sound setups, fucking the most wackiest playlists. Like, like they playing to the niggas they they hanging with or or, or, or some shit. Like, right. I almost feel like if it's gonna be an artist, somebody else need to curate that shit. Word. Man, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I'm not surprised because a lot of these niggas don't know how to mix, like they don't know how to set up sounds. They, all they know is the rapping part. Like they don't know shit about. Oh my the- God, damn, bro, that, that's like saying you a boxer but you don't know how to damn open up the gym or some shit. Like, well, you, well, well, well like, to be to be fair, I mean, it's not like that now, but back in the old days, niggas just used to just rap. They had A and R's and teams to take care of all the uh, rest of this shit. They just go in the booth and rap. But so, that, don't, dude, that don't excuse the sound system being. This is niggas' own cribs, right? Yeah, no, that, that so you mean true. to tell me if if I went to your crib, we on some industry shit, and I say, "Alright, yo, chill, chill," you know, you gonna go swing by this crib? I'm gonna take King P with me, and we gonna be chilling in your studio, vibing, and then you know, you start listening to music, playing music, and sound all fucked up. Then you say. Oh, uh, you know what? I got another studio upstairs. We go, you know, this this my studio for artists. You know, sometimes they fuck up shit, you know. And then they go to another room and then the same thing happens. Whose fault is that? 
<laughs> Good point. <laughs> so I mean, it's just like with boxing, I'm not holding niggas' hands, man. Yeah, no, it's a. Uh... And rapping, no one's whooping your fucking ass. <laughs> so you, you got less excuses. Like boxing, I'm like, well, you know, he had a hard ass fight, bro. You know, he, you know, he might not be all there right now. But rapping, like, oh, you out of breath? Put those damn <laughs> struggle bars you was reciting. Fuck out of here. Fix your goddamn <laughs> system. Oh man, but yeah, that no, no, excited. I mean, I guess what? We'll, I guess we'll just have to see. A, what the next battle is, and A, you know, how long this continues, even as things start opening up, you know, so. 